So he said, no, that's fine now. That's, she's not going to stay with anybody that he doesn't like. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ifna Moje. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, you're welcome. Thank you for stopping by to watch my video and please do consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So guys, in this video, let us not chase childhood friends or faces to speak up on her own experience with Late Usnachu Wachuku's husband, Mr. Peter Wachuku. How this man treated her late friend, how harsh and so controlling the man it was to her. She had an interview with BBC News Igbo, and the interview was in Igbo and English language. So uh, let's listen to her experience with Mr. Peter Wachuku. I'm not because now, see the very peaceful the first time man asked something wasn't right she was coming to lagos so up one seem not at like lagos but she had a connecting flight she was going somewhere else from lagos so same now with connecting flight same namagan and airport and i wasn't working that day but i would finish around the time she would arrive at the airport. So I'll say, ah, fine, yes. So we'll see. Is she okay? So when Rocha was here, her flight was rescheduled. And you know, she had a connecting flight that day. So that meant she couldn't continue to where she was going to. And then she was going to come into Lagos late. So I'll say, ah, okay, so okay, plan again. Oh, see, I said, eh, me, I'm not going to Lagos, going to end the era. So, there are no hotel bookings or her or anything. I said, oh, it's fine. Come on, stay with me now. I said, okay. I said, have you eaten? No. She hadn't eaten then. So, I called my sister. I said, please, who's is coming? Can you make something? You know, I was supposed to wait for her and see her. But I couldn't because her flight was now rescheduled. So more lousy. So my um, sister prepared something and everything. She came into Lagos around ten. We were in touch when she departed, when she boarded, when she landed. She called me. So I said, okay. So I used to go for a gindo. Oh see, I'm going to be lousy. It's going to be a picky again. It was late, or it's a it was cab from the airport. So, I said, I said, no, I'm wahala to go to the first. I said, okay, it's late now, and we've already prepared for you, and I'm sure he won't have any issues. So, I said, no, she'll get back to me. And then she called me back and said that her husband said no. So, I was like, what do you mean? It's late. You don't even live in Lagos. So, what's the plan? What's he saying? I say no say no gagacho hotel. I say in a cho hotel na banya. We can give you a cho hotel. Can I call him? I say ngwa nyem phone nyem nombia kampoya. So what the guy? Because I asked to see say iko akwa yonyem bo na ya mago sing say no glorious singer say mago iko akwa yosi eh no simba. So what the guy? He said, I introduced myself. I've known her for a very long time. And I've known Lucy for a long time, <laughs> almost 30 years or more. So, and I introduced myself. I told the guy who I was, told him that I was 15 minutes away from the airport. So it's, I can come and pick her, it's not, it's not an issue at all. And we've already prepared food for her that she hasn't even eaten. So that we're ready for her. So please, can you allow her? If you want me to go and pick her, I'll pick her. I said, please, can you allow her to come and stay with us? The man said no. 
So I was trying to persuade him, like, you know, it's very late and it's not good for her to be out at this time looking for a hotel. She doesn't know anywhere now. If he, the hotel was booked ahead, it's fine. She'll just go find her way there. But she will have to start searching for. So he said, no, that's fine now. That's, she's not going to stay with anybody. Like, he doesn't like her staying with anybody. I was still trying to persuade him. I'm not anybody. Like, we're not strangers. We've known. And she's not an inconvenience at all. If you think she's, trying to, she's going to inconvenience us, no, 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 she's not an inconvenience. He said, no, that's fine now. That's how we ended the call. And I called Osi back. I said, Osi, can you He said, if you go near. I said, no, I don't know. I said, no, if you go near. He said, okay, what's the plan, Kita? I said, no, 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 the shocking thing was that Osi had to stay at that airport and wait for him to send money for her to go and get the hotel room. I said, Osi, what do you mean? Are you not going to a program? Didn't they pay you? Book hotel with the money now. Start going. It's getting late. Book hotel with the money. Then you can sell whatever. She said, hmm. She said, Lord, they want them. A good program. No, they are not collecting. So, no, they are not. And yes, yeah, a good. And see, I was in Archie. Can you not call it? I said, no, dear. So, no, you send the go. No, you check. I send the go. Because you book a hotel. So, my friend waited there till he sent the money. She now got out of the airport. Because the money was for hotel. It wasn't for extra expenses. She got out of the airport to get a yellow cab at that time. It was now around 11. So she got an elderly man, thank God. And the man, her husband directed the man to a hotel, said, take her here. So because I was now on the phone with her, I was very bothered. So the cab driver said, when they got to the first hotel. Said, Madam, you know if you stay here, now shall they stay here? I was getting angry, I was getting upset. I said, oh snatch, let me come and pick you. What is this? As he said, no, 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 that's, no, she didn't want issues. So, I said, okay. So the man said he would take her to somewhere that it's okay, that she can stay. So they left. They went somewhere else. She said that place was okay. I said, okay, so you're not eating, really? You order now. And that's the good thing about a hotel. Whenever you get in, you can get food. You order. <coughs> Well, she said that the cab driver has agreed to drive her around so they can't look for food. What do you mean? Why won't you order at the hotel? He said that the money he sent to her was for the hotel booking, was for the room. She didn't have any extra to order. She didn't have enough to order at the hotel that night. So the cab driver said he was going to drive her around for any, and you know, most eateries don't even open, are not even open at that time. So he said, don't worry that he will drive her, that they'll see where they sell food. He will see, uh, they'll see where they sell food by the roadside. So that was how they now went out again. And they were looking for food for my friend to eat that night. I was very, very upset. We have a place for you to stay. We have food for you to eat. 
Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to drive around this night? Okay, what if this guy is not a good person? What if this elderly man was not a good person? Do you understand? I'm like, oh, Sinachi, what are you doing? She was stressed that day, you know? It was late. So I couldn't have it out with her. Why she wasn't the one getting her money by herself? Why she had to be giving money in pinches? So that was when I knew something wasn't right. We grew up together in Enugu and we've been, we were in Gloria Singers, it's an a cappella um, gospel music group and the, the, um, the group just celebrated its um, 25th anniversary. So we were together for quite a long time. We went for a lot of programs within Enugu, outside Enugu, road trips, rehearsals every week, how many times a week. We prayed together, we ate together, we sang together, we laughed together. We went to each other's houses. We know our families know each other. She knows all my siblings, and they all know her. Osi, Osi is the gentlest person ever. If something is hers, and you're trying to take it from her, because of peace, she'll let you have it. She doesn't fight, she doesn't quarrel. I've never met anyone like that. Humble, meek, meek is the word, she's meek. She doesn't have any airs about her. She's down to earth. No, no pretensions. Oh, she's soft. She's tough because she's been through a lot. So, but she's very soft emotionally. Her beautiful voice. We sang together for years. Oh, she's voice is unique. You can't quarrel with her as a friend. You can't quarrel with her because she'll be begging you. You're the one that offended her. She'll still be begging you, you know? She was a pacifist, but an extreme pacifist. So it's been very tough. And then she believes that as a Christian, divorce is not really an option. But I, I think she told people, you know, she had to share a bit. I think she told people, some people that she trusted. But her telling you, she's not telling you for you to expose her. She's telling in confidence. And I don't call one person, everything in her Because open all girl, one person. I don't think anybody, even her twin sister, at a point, the husband cut her twin sister off from her life. Like, for them to even see, they will have to be seen when they go for programs together, something like that. He's the one in charge of her itinerary. He's the one that says which program she will go for. He's the one in charge of her itinerary. Sometimes it was an issue. Osi wasn't in charge of her, her life. She was not. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I don't think she would have left. No matter what the man did to her. But I also don't think a lot of people knew it was physical. We all knew he was controlling. But if someone doesn't want to leave, you can't force someone to leave a marriage. It's a marriage. And then we were just trying to get her to be financially independent. And she had her kids with her and everything. So she didn't want to hear, leave him. They tried. Her twin sister tried. Obali. She didn't want to. She didn't. I don't know. It's not like she liked the situation she was in. Do you get? But maybe I, I felt she believed it, he will change or it will change. So for Umadi Bedi Neti or 
Now it make me a hole like this. That person must have a very hard heart. Makana, or the soft. Oh, only you see later, later. You want to, oh, you may have defend their right from time. Only you see later, later. What's up, oh, when you see me, oh, at all. I'm not out of my dinner, no, 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 you could feel the anointing. It, it, it's not because um, she knows how to sing. But her voice is very powerful, you know? And she had a relationship with God. She wasn't, she wasn't pretending about it. So she was conscious of who she was as a Christian. So he opened her gates. Oh, God, I'm going to get to the house. But my comfort is that she's resting because she was genuine. She wasn't, she believed in her faith. She was genuine about it. So at least she's resting. She's at peace. Whenever you go online, you just see oh, snatch, oh, snatch. You're like, maybe we could have done more. I don't know. I, I know she wouldn't have left. She wouldn't. She was hoping that things would improve. And then she died. If she didn't die, maybe. But I can't see now. I don't know how people go through grief. It's terrible. The most painful thing is now. Nah. The most painful thing is now nah, most of us are the extent of Ihonanagavika. And then I've come to realize that when someone is in an abusive situation she or he has to make up their mind to leave. Because if they don't make up their mind, there's nothing you can do about it.